Let's let's park here. The Giants beat the Ravens twenty four to twenty. Let's get the praise out the way. Shouts out to the Giants. The Giants have been a lot better. Again, I said this last episode, and I'll say I reiterate it. Brian Dayball is my or double. I don't know how you say his last name. I I hear Dayball. I hear double. I don't know. Brian Dayball is how I'm going to say it. Is the coach of the year in my opinion? He has been that good. He had. He, Nobody thought that the Giants were good enough to think about this. The Giants are five and one. They are without their not their top two or three receivers. I don't know what the hell uh, um, Kenny Galladay is doing. Darius Slayton has a, has a fumble in pro, or a drops pop problem. Tony, he's in and out the lineup. In fact, he's on trade rumors at this point. They're trying to get him out of there. It. This team has been good. The defense, Kayvon Thibodeau has been good. He was crying on Sunday. Sa- this is Saquon Barkley's team. He's running up and down the field. He looks like he's re- in- rejuvenated, and he looks like the old Saquon Barkley before the injury. Daniel Jones is playing some of the best football he's played in his life. The Giants are the Giants. It just it just feels different when you look at the Giants, man. It They, they, they deserve to be 5-1. So shout out to the Giants, man, and now the Ravens. As much as I talk about how poor the defense is, which the defense does struggle yet again, this is yet another game where they had a double-digit lead in the fourth and lost it. And as much as I love Lamar Jackson, and Lamar Jackson's one of the top uh, quarterbacks in the league, Sunday was on him. What I what I what I'm starting to see from Lamar Jackson, and I saw this a little bit last year, is kind of what we saw Patrick Mahomes, I think, last year as well. I think he Lamar Jackson under he tries to play hero too much. Now, some people try to play hero because they just want the spotlight. They just feel it that good. Bada bing, bada boom. You can tell that Lamar Jackson presses and tries to play hero because he understands his defense is not that good. They have names. They have Marlon Humphreys. They have Marcus Peters. They're not that good, though. Calais Campbell's there. They're not that good. And... He just presses. We know about the, the the costly interception. And the thing about the Ravens is these mistakes, the interception, the fumble, they are so huge because of how poor their defense is. I think the Giants scored on both the interception and the, the, the fumble by Lamar Jackson. Well, the fumble might have been like the, the, the end of the game. But I know for sure the interception. I'm just saying, man. It Lamar Jackson ha, he understands I'm sure, but Lamar Jackson's gonna get the brunt of the the praise and the the brunt of the criticism. That's just how it's gonna be. That's what happens when you're as good as Lamar Jackson. However, this is the third game where they had a double digit lead in the second half and lost it. The third game this year, they could very well be six and zero. Oh, well, nah, they can very well be five and one. But because they and and that's and that's another thing. It's not just the defense. Lamar Jackson. If you look at his QBR, his QBR is terrible in the fourth quarter. It's like top three, top two in the first and second quarter, and I think it's like top ten in the third, and it's like bottom. Of the league in, in the fourth. Lamar Jackson needs to be better in the fourth. He needs to be better in the second half in general. Because they cannot. They're good enough to have t- double digit leads. They're just, they just have to find a way to uh to take it home. Cause again, this is the third time. 